Allie. And Evans. In the, in the morning. morning. Good morning, docs. Homecoming crowning, fall play, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you free Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? Hmm. Well, I got the perfect thing for you. The Frankfurt High School will be putting on a play called The Storm Island Murder. The show dates are Friday, October 4th, and Saturday the 5th at 7 o'clock. And on Sunday the 6th, the show will be at 2.30. So maybe you can catch it after church. So please, please come out and support the theater department. Hope to see you all there. As we know, yesterday, Emily and Lalo's team took a dub in the pep rally during the hot dog challenge. But that's not all they won. Last night, while crowning the king and queen, we passed down a royalty to Emily Mora and my broda, Lalo Castillo. Congratulations to both of these kings and queens, and I hope to see you both taking dubs later in life. Now send it to the big man on campus, my broda, Lalo Castillo. Thanks, Brother. We have the results for the boys tennis team yesterday night was the boys beginning of the boys state tennis tournament. Frankfurt hosted sectional 42 and the hot dogs took on Attica in round one. The team won their match 5-0 to advance and play Lafayette Central Catholic. And for girls volleyball, the JV and varsity volleyball team both swept Clinton Central tonight to round out their county play leading for the JV was Grace Myers with 17 assists and 7 aces. Maddie Shoemaker had two kills, Morgan Berry had 10 digs, Kinley Myers had seven kills and three aces, Izzy Edgar had three kills, Chloe Kingma had five kills, Carmen Vega had five digs, Sadie Sheets had four kills, and Be Bella Vega had a kill. In varsity action, the team started in the night off with, with a kill with, from Lily Rockwood, which just so happened to be her 500th career kill. She went on and had 14 kills of the night. And nine digs, Jalen Smith had 26 aces and four kills. Justin Thomas had six kills and six digs. Daisy Santos Valdez had six digs and two kills. And Chloe Maudi had a kill and a solo block. Addie, Addie Keck had five kills and two blocks. Defensively, Morgan Harrington led in digs with 12. Ashley Zane picked up 10. And Caroline Queen had nine digs. It wasn't her defense of night that made Caroline Queen stand out, though. She began with a 13 to 0 run to start the match, telling four aces and serving 23 points for her team. Freshman Grace Myers came in and served an ace and two points for the team in game three. Great job, Lady Hot Dogs, on a 3-0 county record. Also tonight, we got three, three events going on. Boys soccer at Twin Lakes start time, 5.30. Also got the second round of sectionals for boys. They are hosting Lafayette Central Catholic. Start time is at five, so pull my boy Jay Ray. And finally, we got girls Soccer at Danville, time will be six. Good luck to my twin. We also got the results in for the athletes of the month is Jalen Smith and Lala Castillo. Congrats, well dogs. That's, that should be all for the sports. Now sending it to Jalen for weather. Thanks, Lalo, and good morning, dogs. Now coming in this morning, it was pretty chilly. With it being 46, winds at three miles per hour. About all day today, it's supposed to be sunny. Now the high will be only 69 and the low will be 46. Well, that's all for me, dogs, and now back to your host. If any students are feeling a little scary, please go talk to Mr. Hutton in the Bay Room today if you're wanting to help out at Fear Farm this year. And since you guys are so hungry all the time, for lunch today, lines one and two is Top and Go Dorito Taco, line three is four by six pizza, and line four is Fajita Bar. A special happy birthday goes out to Connor McKibben. And that other graphic was indeed wrong. This one is correct. The show dates are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, that's all for the morning announcements. 